Hello, friends. The last days of the summer transfer window are coming, and we simply cannot stand aside because Cristiano Ronaldo is close to a sensational transfer to Manchester City. Today, we want to explain why this will be a success for both sides. Please support us, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and write in the comments how do you feel about Ronaldo's potential move to Man City, for or against. And now, let's get started. If there's one thing that unites Manchester City and Ronaldo, that is their desire to win the Champions League. Despite the crazy investments in the era of the Sheikhs, the citizens still cannot win the tournament of their dreams. No matter how many years passed and no matter what players were signed, City still never won the main club trophy in its history. Note that the contract of the team's head coach, Pep Guardiola, expires in 2023, which means that he has less and less time to finally complete the task, for precisely which he was invited. The Sky Blues reached the Champions League final last season and were as close to their goal as ever before. But they were stopped by Chelsea. Guardiola's team has once again let themselves down at the most important moment, and this is the main problem of the current city. The squad, overflowing with top players, sometimes still lacks character in decisive matches at the European arena. Pep's players are great at the team level. But if something does not go according to their plan in the Champions League or the coach uses too complicated tactics, they simply lack the mentality to change the situation. Cristiano Ronaldo is exactly the person who is able to solve the long-standing problem of the citizens. The Portuguese has five victories in the Champions League, and it's not a coincidence. He understands how to score in difficult European Cup matches and knows how not to lose heart and find the right words for the teammates under the most unfortunate and unforeseen circumstances. But despite all his merits, Cristiano has not won the Champions League for three years. In this sense, the time he spent in Juventus turned out to be absolutely useless. Ronaldo brought domestic trophies to Turin, but for the club and for himself it is taken for granted. In England, the goals of CR7 will not change much. Manchester City, like Juve, can easily win national cups without his help, and therefore Cristiano will probably not even be involved in non-essential matches in the League Cup or the FA Cup. When you have guys like Raheem Sterling, Phil Foden, Jack Grealish, Riyad Mahrez, Ferran Torres, you don't really need Ronaldo's help. But in the Champions League, the Portuguese's experience and leadership will clearly be needed by the team, and Ronaldo, for his part, will be very happy to fight again for the most valuable trophy with the squad, which is one of the best in the world. Mind you, Man City and PSG will already meet in the group stage. These may be the last meetings between Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi at the club level. What a match! Ronaldo's signing could be great news for City midfielder Kevin De Bruyne too. In April last year, the Belgian was interviewed by Sky Sports and admitted that he dreams of playing side-by-side -side with Cristiano. I would like to play with someone like Ronaldo. For me, as a creative player, you know he is going to be there, so I want someone quick who can go deep. That would help me out a lot. For what I do, strikers are the main importance. With Cristiano, I could cross it three meters higher and know he is still going to get it, Kevin joked. In general, this combination could become extremely intriguing and even 
lethal. Because Kevin is the king of assists in the English Premier League, he is able to simplify Ronaldo's last years in football as much as possible. With the assists De Bruyne gives, Cristiano would find a completely different level of support compared to what he has in Juventus. Dear Shades, let Kevin's dream come true. OK, OK, someone's desire to play next to Ronaldo is only half the battle. But let's not deny that Cristiano will be the perfect short-term alternative to Tottenham striker Harry Kane, whom Manchester City, with all their desire, could not sign this summer. Of course, in the Guardiola system, Ronaldo will be put in the striker position, which Kane would have taken. But this is still a good result for the citizens. Cristiano's scoring performance is beyond doubt. In each of the last five seasons, he has scored at least 30 goals in all tournaments, playing as a centre forward. The same thing with physical condition. The Portuguese is losing speed, but is still brilliant in finding an open space in the opponent's box and finishing attacks. This is exactly what the city's only remaining striker, Gabriel Jesus, is missing. Ronaldo's move? What could that mean to the club in general? On the one hand, it is clear that City will give a lot of money for a 36-year-old player and Cristiano's decent salary will be another financial problem. But at the same time, no one dares to deny that CR7 is a huge brand. His move to Manchester guarantees a regular 100% occupancy of the citizens' home stadium. And then the jokes about the empty stands of the Etihad, which are so loved in England, will disappear forever. Well, the club will earn more from the sale of tickets for matches, jerseys with Ronaldo's name and new sponsorship deals. And since the owners of the city are successful businessmen, they simply will not dare to give up all these opportunities. Friends, what are your thoughts after watching this video? Do you agree with our arguments? We also want to remind you that we launched the Top Football News Project, where we humorously analyze the most important and interesting news from the world of football. Subscribe, you will not regret it. And that was Top Football. Thank you all for watching. Bye-bye.